Hey guys, I want you to meet my friend and co-worker, David Lada. He works here at Pacific Press and helps to put the guide magazines together once they are printed. And I just learned, this is so cool, that David got to meet Desmond Doss. Mm -hmm. How did you meet him? Okay, this was back in uh, July of 1999. Uh, my youngest daughter, Chrissy, was going to school down at uh, Southern Adventist University, and we were taking her down there to drop her off. And um, after uh, getting her to the college and dropping her off, uh, we had some time on a Saturday afternoon, and, and Desmond had always been a, a hero of mine. And I heard that he lived up on Lookout Mountain, which is uh, not too far from Chattanooga, Tennessee, where the school was. And uh, so I said, let's just you know, see if we can find Desmond Doss. You know? Wow. So we just took off, got in the car, the whole family got in the car, and just started driving for Lookout Mountain, which is a short distance away, but it's actually in Georgia. And uh, so I got up on the mountain and just started asking people, hey, where's the Doss family live? Yeah. And so uh, they directed us to the house. We got driving down this country road, and there was a small, white um, rancher house, mm -hmm. uh, just very humble house, and um, uh, had out in the front yard the Statue of Liberty, a uh, uh, life-size Statue of Liberty, and uh, New Desmond was with the Statue of Liberty division during the Army, and so I knew that was his house. So we went up and knocked on the door, and uh, a lady answered the door. Of course, I didn't know who she was at the time, but um, she introduced herself as uh, Desmond's wife. Her name was Frances. This was his second wife as his first wife had passed away. Mm -hmm. And uh, she invited us in. I just told her that, you know, we were just up there and, uh, and w was visiting and, and wanted to know uh, if, if we could meet Desmond. And she invited us in and said so he was out in the backyard working on a lawnmower or something. So he came in. Here's Desmond's office. She comes in the back door, you know. And, uh, and uh, so I was just thrilled. And he came in and he, he took time out of his busy uh, schedule uh, at his humble little home there and, and visited with my family. He didn't know me from Adam and just invited us into his home. And, uh, and we took pictures there and he actually um, uh, sold me a copy of this book that he endorsed and, and, and signed in the front. And uh, we took some pictures here and, and uh, just had a really uh, good visit. Uh, with the man. He, he was a very humble man. It was just a joy and an honor to get to meet him. That's awesome. And we're going to get those scans so that you can see them. Now, David, what is your most treasured memory of him? Probably the, the, the neatest thing that happened uh, to me while I was there. We were only there for about an hour, I guess. Um, but the neatest thing that he did, like I said, he was a very humble guy, and he came in and just gave us his time. Didn't know me from Adam, just gave us his time. And uh, while he was talking about it, he had the uniform that, uh, that he received the Congressional Medal of Honor uh, and from President Truman right there, and you'll see a picture of that. But the neatest thing that he did, and I didn't even ask him to do this, was that he, he went and got some rope and had me stand up in front of him and uh, began to tie this rope on me. And it was the bowline knot which was the actual knot that he used in Okinawa to lower those 75 men to safety. Wow. And, uh, and he actually tied the bowline knot on me, and that just meant the whole lot to me that, that he would take time out of his schedule to do something like that for me. Wow, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much, David, for sharing that. And we sure hope that you get to read the second of three chapters that we'll be publishing in guidemagazine.org. The story on Desmond Doss.